back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a C63 AMG, the W204 model in a matte silver or matte gray colorway. Looks really nice. Today we need to change out the engine mount or the motor mounts because there's a lot of uh, vibrations, especially at idle and during cold starts. This is uh, Quavos. This is his car. Yeah. So what kind of symptoms have you been feeling with it? Yeah, so upon startup, especially cold startups, uh, yeah. you're going to feel your engine knocking. Uh, it sounds like your engine has severe uh, rod knock, basically. You'll, you'll just keep hearing it. During cold uh, starts? Yeah, during cold starts, uh, over speed bumps, uh, going slow speeds when accelerating, stuff like that. Okay, so this is an OE engine mount replacement right here. As you can see, the this little narrow uh, rubber piece in the center is most likely what fails. It kind of squishes in and then the engine starts drooping down and making vibrations noise. So we need to replace these. Definitely easier if you have a lift, which we don't. We're using jack, uh, ramps right now, and we're going to use a jack to support the engine one side at a time. So let's get started. Pull out the ground, set it aside for a bit, and there should be no power to the car now. Okay, so right here next to the driver's side engine mount is the power plug for the steering rack. You got to disconnect that first before you can drop the steering rack. There's the uh, E12 bolt to disconnect the steering rack. So you'll need to loosen that E12 bolt and then we can disconnect the steering rack by pushing up and then pulling it slowly out. Okay, so we've got to remove these 18 millimeter nuts right around the under plate over here. All right, uh, it's slowly coming down. Plate's coming off. Okay, dude, we did it. Yes. The next step is to remove the 16 millimeter bolt on top of the engine mount. You're gonna need a flex head ratchet and a flex head box wrench. 16 millimeters, right here's the bolt on top. These are bolts. I think I got it. I got just the edge of it. This job will be a lot easier if you use a 16 millimeter torque adapter instead. All right, so there's the engine mount. Now we have just taken out the 16 millimeter bolt at the very top of the engine mount. Um, I had Quavos kind of hold the wrench at the top and then I used the flex head ratchet from the backside kind of over here near where the cat area is i just snuck it in there got it to the top and broke it loose and then now that that top bolt is off we took the aluminum plate off all right so we're slowly jacking up the engine to get that uh engine mount off i already undid the two bolts underneath they're actually a 13 millimeter bolt and then the top bolts off so go ahead cables lift it up a little higher A little more. Okay, stop it there. We got the engine just high enough to be able to sneak the uh, bottom portion, this piece right here, that comes off of the bottom mount. And then now I'm gonna sneak this engine mount out of here. The engine's been like kind of compressing down this way and making a, a wear hole over here, like so, because it's compressing down and hitting the middle portion. So you're not, normally you're not supposed to be able to do this, right? You're not supposed to be able to move that easily. So you look at this right here. Too much play. The newer one, if you look at it, there's no play on this thing. So this is gonna be way more solid. It is unfortunate that you're probably gonna have to do this job again after like another 50 to 75,000 miles, but hopefully you won't have the car that long. But anyways, let's go put this new one on. Uh, same way in reverse, you're going to line up these two uh, little divots and then the top part goes into this section right here. There's a little little uh, corner that you can drop the engine onto it. We'll put the long 16 millimeter bolt on and then heat shield on and then tighten it down. No, just coming in. Okay, so we got the hardest one in first, the driver's side engine mount is on and uh, the trick to getting it on is to kind of support the engine, heat shield first, then the top bolt, and then tighten the bottom bolts right after, and then you can 
put the engine back down. Now we're gonna go do, tackle the passenger side, which should be a little easier, and then we'll get back to you guys. Okay, so um, we have the engine supported with a soft mat, and we are just enough to be able to pop this off. This is the passenger side mount. Very, very uh, loose and brittle. This one's definitely needs to, needed to be changed. So let's do that. This side is a little easier. The only difficulty is that cat right there is slightly closer to the top nut over here. So trying to get to this was harder. And also the coolant reservoir tank is up top. So it's hard for a friend to help. All right, so I'm putting the new mount in. Definitely should do this every 75,000 miles, I'd say. This car has 110,000 miles, I think. And so there's definitely a need to change a lot of stuff. I mean, you could even see there's like a leak right over here. Some kind of an oil leak there and random uh, parts of the car that's destroyed. Here's another example of this uh, end link, the front sway bar end link. You can tell it's all busted now. Uh, the oil is escaping or the fluid escaping the uh, the bushing. So this, this mount is significantly taller, so we need to raise the engine higher to get this in. So go ahead, Quavos, let's raise the engine a little bit higher. Okay, so now, now I'm able to fit this in and it's in the right spot. What I'm gonna do now is get that 16 millimeter bolt up top lined up along with the heat shield. So the heat shield goes first and then the 16 millimeter bolt while it's still supported like this so that you can wiggle this around if you need to line it up. All right, so I got everything back on. Uh, putting on the power steering rack and installing the shaft and everything back together is gonna take quite a bit of fiddling. Uh, it's not gonna fit in perfectly, so definitely take your time and find a way to get everything lined up, the bolts. And then you're gonna probably need an alignment after, so definitely get an alignment so that your steering wheel tracks straight afterwards. But we're gonna go take it for a test drive now and see how much improved the new motor mounts feel. So we're setting off in the C63 AMG and uh, it's not Koibos, it's uh, Caboose. Caboose, <laughs> like uh, like the train. Sure. Anyways, so we're gonna stop here and then let's feel the idle. Cause usually idle is where you'll notice that vibration. So slowing down a little. Oh man, it, it feels calm, man. It, like It feels like how a Mercedes should. Mercedes is very luxurious and comfortable. This feel is exactly like that. It's no more uh, vibration or annoying sounds. Damn. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that's definitely much better. Sounds much better. Make a right turn here. It's putting the power down much more smoother. Yeah, it puts the power down and the engine sits a little higher now, so it's not just sitting on the mounts themselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.